Hi friends, welcome to the video lecture series on importing data in a Python. So in the last tutorial we have seen about how to import data amnist.csv file and a titanic data set titanic.csv file with the help of two function of the numerical Python library. One is the load text function and one is the gen from text function. But for the analysis pur purpose we are going to see about one more generic function which is available in a pandas library and that's what we are going to use in this tutorial to read this titanic.csv file. Once we read this into titanic.csv file it will return us a data frame object and once we have data frame object you can apply all those kind of manipulation, munging operation and a cleaning operation on the top of this data frame object. So let's begin it. Before that, let's just uh, make some necessary import. So we'll import this pandas as a pd. So all function we are going to use with a pd alias name. Okay, it has uh, successfully imported this pd. Now pd dot we are going to use this read csv function of the pandas and we will supply this titanic.csv and it will return us the data frame object and one more argument we are going to supply which is nothing but the separator in our earlier case of numpy library we were supplying this name as a delimiter here the name is separator and separator is nothing but the comma because all value has been separated by the comma in the case of titanic.csv and we will assign it to the df which is the sort acronym for the data frame object so let's just run it okay we have successfully run this uh, and we have successfully imported this titanic.csv file and it has written as data frame object now suppose all those data has been accumulated in a df variable now suppose we want to see all those data just type df and it will return us all the values of the df let's say we want to find all just the very first five values so we can type like a head on the top of this df so it has written us the all five values let's say we want to see the size so you can see here there are total 30 rows it has imported and total six column in case of data frame object now all those kind of operation like a sorting operation munging operation the cleaning of a data you can do kind of plotting operation or if you want to visualize uh, any kind of uh, data you can do all sorts of data with the help of on on the top of this data frame object you can apply because once the data is available in a data frame object so we have successfully imported into data frame object this .csv file. The same way there are a lot of other functions like a read Excel file. You can use the same uh, read underscore CSV file. If you have a different separator, you can change this separator in case of this sap argument of the read underscore CSV file and you can import those file and it will return as the data frame object. So that is all about the importing uh, this flat file uh, we have seen this uh, flat file importing from the numpy library point of view from the pandas read csv uh, function also in a future lecture we are going to see more file like a matlab file plus standard uh, h5py uh, file how to read this excel file with the help of this pandas library so that's all about this lecture friends i hope you enjoy listening this video and if you haven't understood anything please please write into comment and still if you haven't subscribed my channel please please do subscribe to support the channel